Hi, I'm Bill Packard at MagicManEntertainment.com. Every year I create an all-original presentation for public libraries to enhance the collaborative summer library program theme for that year and to entertain, educate, and encourage children of all ages to read. The brief sample presentation you're about to see was shot during my Just Add Water show for the 2010 theme Make a Splash at Your Library. Notice how I've combined a costumed character host, video projection, music, storytelling, and magic to create a unique and memorable fun learning experience for your guests. Enjoy! So I'd like to read you a book, but I need my reading glasses. These are my reading glasses. And I'm going to read Raindrop Splash by Alvin Trussell. This won a Caldecott Award in 1947. Drip, drop, splash. Drip, drop, splash. splash went the rain all day. Dripped from the shiny leaves, dropped from a rabbit's nose, splashed from a brown bear's tail. Fell from a daisy's face, trickled down the tree trunks, and splunked on a green frog's back. There were so many raindrops, they made a puddle. The puddle grew larger and larger until it became a pond. Water lilies floated in it. Little fish swam in it, and tiny snails sat beside it. Still it rained, trip, drop, splash, trip, drop, splash, trip, drop, splash. The little pond grew larger and larger and spilled right over into a brook, tumbling and splashing and running down the mountain. Scared a chipmunk, splashed some violets, passed a mother deer showing her baby how to drink. Jumped over big stones, fell into deep pools, and tumbled into a lake. Now it was a big lake, with big fish and tall pickerel weed. Dragonflies skimmed over the top. Turtles floated quietly, and a red-winged blackbird built his nest in the rushes. Still it rained, drip, drop, splash, drip, drop, splash, drip, drop, splash. The lake grew larger and larger and flooded a farmer's meadow. The cows stood in the mud. It covered the road and the cars couldn't pass and the children had to go to school in a boat. It went under bridges and over waterfalls and then overflowed into a river with houses and towns along the shore. Men fished from the rocks and two teams had a boat race. Past factories and warehouses, the river came to great cities with docks. There were ships and barges and scows and tankers and a boat full of people on a holiday. Little boys jumped into the water. Ferry boats puffed back and forth on top. And seagulls flew overhead looking for fish to eat. Then it passed a fort and a lighthouse and bellboy and the river flowed into the sea. Tall waves came up to meet it, and then the sun came out, and the rain stopped. Thank you for watching. For information about my new show for the 2011 theme, One World Many Stories, please visit magicmanentertainment.com forward slash one world many stories or call me at 770-926-1168. I'm looking forward to appearing at your library as a turn of the century flying adventurer as I present Around the World in 40 Minutes. So please keep me in mind when scheduling your library show performers for the summer. I'm Bill Packard at MagicManEntertainment.com and may you continue to discover that every day is filled with magic. <laughs>